hey guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been a little bit of a time but a lot of you were finally confirming some subjects to kind of go into or things to just really focus on in the channel um this is more so of a time to be speaking what you want to cleanse what do you want to release okay as we go into this new ship as we go into this new 2023 year which is the seven year if you all are into numerology but i wanted to really focus on dreams today a lot of you have been asking me about dreams wanting to learn more about dreams so for me dreams are essentially god speaking to you god relays various visions warnings signs right when you think about what even is a dream something that i realized going into the broad topic of psychology something that i've always been interested in is dreams psychology the study of the mind so dreams are essentially portions of yourself these visions that you receive are from our subconscious mind so for me a lot of the times my dreams would tell me various things that i could be working on whether it's self-development whether it's something's trying to get your attention for a certain reason something that i realized too after my birth my dreams start to become very vivid so even when i was pregnant i had these various various visual dreams and it would always be something where i needed to be reminded to surrender right whether it was um a certain dream where i would be kind of like surrounded by lots of things because sometimes with dreams you don't remember everything there are dreams where i do remember a lot of things where i'm able to get certain imagery and pull certain symbolism i really tell people to you ought to have some type of dream journal right so dream journaling is something that really helped me get more acquainted with my dreams and have my dreams more vivid more stronger because i was starting to connect and when you begin to connect with your dreams there's certain things that they'll relate to you there's certain bits and pieces so like i said the first very like vivid dream that i can remember is i was working at this facility i will not disclose the name but it was in greensboro north carolina it was black owned i was working here with the children so a lot of the children that i would work with one-on-one -on -one, i was essentially a mental health professional for the kids if you will so i was working at this job in this certain position where i would have to closely align myself with you know a lot of things that they're going through the things that they have on their mind their worries their little hearts right so i would be working with them to try to cope with these beliefs these certain feelings that they would have right circle from our childhood so what i began to realize is this facility that i was working at was not a righteous facility i'll say that um and a lot of the times the things that i was doing within this field within this position working within this system was very crooked i started to realize a lot of the things that they're doing a lot of the ways that we are feeding the children even down to what they were eating every day right they were eating these terrible frozen meals and mind you the director of this facility was vegan so it's like you would think that you know we would be giving them some type of food that is of a, a good substance but in fact it was not it was disgusting it was something that personally i wouldn't eat i'm not gonna feed this to y'all so what i start to do was weighing heavy on my conscience it was starting to come through in my dreams right because dreams are essentially yourself they're gonna relay things from your subconscious certain things that you're doing in the physical that you choose to ignore it's gonna come through in the spiritual and you're gonna pick it up in your dreams so you may have certain visions you may have certain settings that will take place but spirit is essentially trying to get you to see something within your everyday waking life so i had this dream where the aliens were coming to my mom's house which is very interesting because i thought about it like mom's house being childhood self right so these aliens and they were very like greenish bluish kind of aliens and they would come down and give me these coins in their hand all different kind of coins like pennies and, and quarters and dimes in their hand and then the children would kind of come out from this mist it was like a heavy mist heavy fog and they would come to me and then the car would pull up we would all get into the car we would leave from this car and go to a house but houses see what i'm starting to realize when you dream about houses these are simply reminders of self when you think of a house right 
it's it's kind of embodying visions of self if you think about it so in the dream we go to this house right and every single time we had to get into this house there was always this room of zombies vicious i mean they had chainsaws some of them had knives and they would be attacking us they would be literally attacking us and when you think about even hoodoo tarot because i begin doing divination divination really helps you with your dreams as well because it gives you that symbolism it gives you that heavy symbolism within the cards within the different imagery and one of the particular suits you have is the knives knives represent your emotions knives represent the mental capacity right so when you think of the knives you have to think about these as your beliefs right within this system that i was working in i was working you know like i said i won't disclose the name but i was working for this so-called system but in my dreams it was showing me how these beliefs this this mentality that i have picked up the white man's thoughts if you think about it hello all of these things that i'm doing is really attacking them it's not righteous it's, it's never going to be righteous because it was never meant for us it was never meant for these kids so of course the kids that i'm working at it's like every time we try to go through the house we never made it out i was the only person that made it out i was the only person that came out every single time and i looped this dream it felt like hell literally because i would keep going to the house and every time we would never make it out except for me the kids never made it out i was the only one and i looped this part probably five times and when i finally woke up that's when i realized i had to leave my job your dreams tell you things i remember one time i also had a very very vivid dream of zombies coming into my house right because if you think about even your social media presence that you have what energy are you always around right what environments are you going to what messages what is spirit trying to relate to you to get you to wake up right and when you think about even the movie insidious when i was younger i used to love this movie called insidious and i never knew why but now it makes sense because dreams dreams are very important your dream world i'm actually watching actually we finished it it's this show called kindred and she goes to these certain places within her dreams right within her vision so it's like they are technically if you think about it not even technically there are certain dimensions of self that you go into right that you're taken through and that's something that i also start to realize these windows because then i would have dreams about people trying to get in windows when that's portals when you think of windows that's literally like portals or dimensions and and even doors when you think about doors what is that when you think about a window or a door frame you're going into something you're going in so it's like even if you think about it a lot of people lose train of thought when they go through door frames think about it like that they're literally portals you know what i'm saying so it's like pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the imagery of your dreams start a dream journal what is what is spirit what is the most high god trying to relate to me and there has been several dreams that i have been having about this ai technology this difference drone technology and what you're going to start seeing is a very attack on the people it's going to be an attack on the people so god even has been relaying to me like gather resources gather community gather tribe sacredness right because there's going to come a time where essentially we're going to start to see purge not to fear monger here you know not to fear monger here and that's just what i have been feeling heavily on my heart so even with this push for passion place even what we're doing with these various platforms that my friends and i have we're really pushing this message of tribe getting together creating this togetherness the indigenous ways that our ancestors live right so you know we're being called to be careful right now we're being called to listen to our dreams get back to nature nature speaks to us there are certain animals that can come to us that can tell us things this heavy symbolism right and even even with me like i when i wake up in the rising i'm first going to the creator i'm going on some kind of walk i'm sitting with self outside i'm stretching outside i'm making sure i'm synced up with nature that's another thing pay attention to these rituals it got you so straight away from natural and nature even with me painting recently i started to realize how important these visualizations are because i was painting things that i'm now experiencing for example i just recently did a painting i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna show you guys hold just one second 
this one right here. So this one right here is a girl and she's in these hills with these trees and she's overflowing, right? She She's free, she's, you know, creative. She's flowing in this creative nature. And that's something that I started to realize the moon is in currently Taurus. So it's like this beautiful sensual energy, this beautiful free energy of flowing, this artistic high that I've been on, if you will, is now being portrayed in my everyday life. Like I just recently did this shoot, beautiful shoot. Y'all see more pictures when I post it and get more pictures back. But we were in this beautiful field and I was just running and this feeling free, like feeling divine within my true nature in nature you know how god intended god's creations to be thanks to everybody who had given me this beautiful confirmation to make this beautiful video if you guys want to see more be sure to follow me on these hidden gems be sure to follow me on that girl Vani, which is my personal page but either way y'all we're doing beautiful things we're helping communities we're building tribe this is what you know we need to be doing online as well as offline something i've been telling and pushing on these platforms is making sure that we're doing it in person and on these phones right because what better else way to do it like i want to fully exude all things togetherness all things sacred you know what i'm saying but thank you so much to everybody i love you all be sure to take care of your mental your body as well as your spirit and i'll see you next time guys